thinks of back up. Every thinks of you know when you say a trolling sock to some guy, guy, wow, now I got a kicker motor, I got an electric guy, I can go slow enough. I don't care, you need bags in your boat. Because um, if you start trolling them trolling bags, you're missing the whole point. They're not trolling bags, they're boat control bags. Even if you can go slow enough, a couple bags can make trolling a whole lot easier. I pin the nose down or doing some other things. But what Dean's talking about is based on um, how the wind is blowing and how your boat is positioned, um, you know, having a bag here is going to make the boat act different than having a bag here. Okay? Or having that same bag here. Every single one of those positions, the bag is going to do something different to the boat. All right, so what we have done over the course of the years is, you know, most boats come with, you know, one cleat. Hey, there's your bag. So what a lot of our guys have done, and, and, you know, is by using a track system, you know, multiple pieces of track even, um, track stack makes a cleat that slides in that track. So now what I can do is I can put a rod holder and a rod holder, and I can slide that cleat anywhere I need to get the right pull on the bag. Okay, I can constantly move that. And moving that bag, we talked about this down, we were, we were talking on the tray, I think the dinner one night we were talking about. Moving that bag six inches forward or backwards totally makes your boat act different. Totally makes your boat act different. Turning your motor goes through. See, that's the other thing, is being able to take your engine, right? And remember, because of all the weight, <coughs> The back of the boat is going to drift a whole lot slower than the front of the boat is. Right? The keel's in the water, you got all the weight back here. So what's going to happen is even without a bag, is your boat's going to want to drift. Kind of can't want this. If you take your engine and you turn your engine, the line is down, start to kick the nose around, so now you stay perpendicular. And then what you can do is you can put your trolling motor down and just use a little bit of thrust and you can start to control that speed even without a bag. Okay. But yeah, moving your, moving your sock six inches forward or backwards makes a huge difference on how your boat acts. Okay. The other thing I would tell you is, um, I can't stress this enough, run your tow line short. Oh my. Just enough line to get the top of the bag to the top of the water. You don't want your bag from here to the chair. It's not doing anything. You want that bag as close as you can get it. The closer it is to the boat, it does a couple things. It grabs more water, collapses less, it stays full more time. If you have to move it, now it's just a simple distance out of the way. Okay? Plus what it does is the closer the boat is to the, closer the bag is to the boat, is it stops the boat from doing this. Because now that boat tries to go like this, the bag grabs it and pulls it steady. The bag grabs it pulls it steady. You get that bag way up here, the boat's still going to do this. Okay. So I would talk about using bags not just for speed. Now you get trolling on Lake Erie, Saginaw Bay, or whatever the case may be, open water, you're trolling downwind, right? And you've got a two foot chop. What's your boat, what's the nose your boat doing? Right? Your GPS speed is going 1.7, 2.5, 1.7, 2.5. If you take two bags, put them small bags, put them on a cleat, run on a short on the front of the boat, now what happens is those two bags do out to the nose of the boat. Boof. Now your boat doesn't do this, and your boat doesn't do this. Now you got much better boat control. Forget about your speed, you, you can get the right speed without them, but you don't have the same control that you have with bags. So they're not speed items, they're boat control bags. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that when you get waves over the front? No, you actually, you actually get, I think you get less waves that way because your boat's not going up and then slapping down on the wave. It's staying it's coming steady. Through it's coming through the waves as opposed to popping up and going down in the trough. So, you know, same thing, you know, you're trolling, you're trying, you're trying to troll this way, right? You're trying to troll this way and the wind or the current's blowing you that way. You're constantly getting your wheel over. Throw a 24 inch bag on this side of the boat. It's going straight without any work. Boat 
control that hangs. They're not a speed thing. They're remote control. 